in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Welcome to Mass via Zoom. Modern technology is a wonderful thing, isn't it? Especially when it works. <laughs> and it is at the moment. <laughs> well, I hope it is. You're very welcome to Mass. And it's a great joy to be able to celebrate Mass, um, knowing that you are sitting comfortably in your homes and and yet you're also joining in this offering of, of the Holy Sacrifice, a great and um, wonderful gift of, of God to us, to unite us, um, to keep us together in faith. As we praise and thank God this morning, let us first pause and call to mind our sins and ask God for the gift of forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you are the image of the unseen God. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are the firstborn of all creation. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are the head of the body of the church. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Show favour, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace, that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity, they may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen.
A reading from the Book of Wisdom. There is no God other than you who cares for everything, to whom you might have to prove that you never judge unjustly. Your justice has its source in strength. Your sovereignty over all makes you lenient to all. You show your strength when your sovereign power is questioned and you expose the insolence of those who know it. But disposing of such strength, you are mild in judgment. You govern us with great lenience, for you have only to will and your power is there. By acting thus, you have taught a lesson to your people how the virtuous man must be kindly to his fellow men. And you have given your sons the good hope that after sin, you will grant repentance. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. The Spirit comes to help us in our weakness. For when we cannot choose words in order to pray properly, the Spirit himself expresses our plea in a way that could never be put into words. And God, who knows everything in our hearts, knows perfectly well what he means and that the pleas of the saints expressed by the Spirit 
are according to the mind of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Lord. Jesus put a parable before the crowds. The kingdom of heaven may be compared to a man who sowed good seed in his field. While everybody was asleep, his enemy came sowed darnel among the wheat and made off. When the new wheat sprouted and ripened, the darnel appeared as well. The owner's servants went to him and said, Sir, was it not good seed that you sowed in your field? If so, where does the darnel come from? Some enemy has done this, he answered. And the servant said, do you want us to go and weed it out? But he said, no, because when you weed out the darnel, you might pull up the wheat with it. Let them both grow till the harvest. And at harvest time, I shall say to the reapers, First, collect the darnel and tie it in bundles to be burnt, then gather the wheat into my barn. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. As I'm sure you know, we have got a new priest uh, in the Diocese of Hallam. Dominic Jenkinson was ordained priest in St. Marie's yesterday. Sadly, um, many of us who might have been there couldn't, couldn't be present under these um, conditions that we are um, living under at the moment. Nevertheless, we were able to join, uh, many of us I'm sure joined and watched and um, watched it being streamed. So we know that he is ordained and he is a new priest for Helen. And uh, Facebook, which of course tells you everything you need to know, <laughs> um, tell, told me today that it's his birthday. So um, as well as congratulations on being ordained to Dominic, we wish him a happy birthday as well on the day when he will have been celebrating in Rotherham in his home parish, the Immaculate Conception, um, his first Mass. So we Ask God to bless him and his family and friends. As a priest, he will, like any Christian, he will hope that in his life there is an awful lot of good fruit produced, a lot of wheat, 
and hopefully not too much darnel or weeds. But in fact, we know that we're all, there's a mixture of both in, in, in all of us. Dominic spent some time with us, it's three years ago now, he was on a placement with us. And um, I saw one of his great gifts, uh, and very humbling to see really, where we were walking down Ecclesall Road and there was somebody who was um, homeless and, and um, obviously in need of help. And not only did Dominic um, give them something, but he engaged them in conversation. Uh, had quite a quite a long chat to them, and I, I saw him doing this um, in my last parish. He used to come on a Monday evening to mass regularly at Denaby, and he wouldn't come on his own. He was working then, of course. Well, this was before he went to seminary, working for his dad in the family and firm, um, have a construction uh, that sort of um, work. And he would come on a Monday evening after work. But he never came on his own. He he brought with him people from the, um, the, the homeless community of Rotherham. Every week, there were others with him. A bit like the Pied Piper in, in some ways, and we got to know them. It was a, a wonderful example of, of Christians reaching out uh, to those in need. So there will be an awful lot of good wheat in his ministry. And he will, of course, through prayer and through celebrating the sacraments, through his uh, pastoral ministry, through his proclaiming the word of God, and through his zeal, he will, God through him, will produce tremendous fruit and wheat. Yes, there will be weeds, there'll be darnel, um, because, you know, he will face many challenges um, in his ministry and you know, he won't always be the most patient of priests or the most uh, prayerful of priests or the most um, zealous of priests, you know, uh, no more than we are. But what today's gospel is asking you and me to do, Dominic, all of us, is to cooperate with God's, God's grace working in us from the first moment of your baptism and mine through the grace of God. God is at work in us to do good in the world, to do good in your family, in your workplace, in our community. So may we, may we all of us um, see that um, this fruit grows wonderfully in our lives. May we grow in holiness and prayerfulness, in love for God, for each other. And when we fail, Let's remember that God is good and forgiving, lenient to all, merciful. We thank God for God's presence with us today and always. Amen. Let us profess our faith, saying together, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen.
Let us turn to the Lord, the God of mercy and compassion, abounding in love, and pray for our needs and those of our world. For Pope Francis, bishops and priests, that they will cultivate in those they lead joyful hope in God's great mercy. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. For Dominic Jenkinson, ordained priest of Hallam this weekend, that his ministry will be fruitful and will draw him ever closer to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. For ourselves, that in our weakness, we will surrender to the Spirit speaking within us. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. For world leaders, that they will cooperate to serve the common good. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. For the sick, for the dying, and for those who are close to them, that in their suffering love will grow. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. For those who have died, that they are embraced by God's mercy and compassion. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer.
Lord God, may the seed you sow in our hearts grow within us to yield a rich harvest. Grant this in all the prayers we make today through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, through to the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought completion varied offerings of the law, Accept, we pray, this sacrifice from your faithful servants and make it holy. As you blessed the gifts of Abel, so that what each has offered to the honour of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right, right and, and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion, Thought for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross he freed us from an unending death, and by rising from the dead he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Ralph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Seder's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you turned away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you turned away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you turned away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you for um, tuning in, being part of this celebration. Thank you to those who have um, done the singing and the playing of mu uh, musical instruments to make it um, a joyful celebration. For those who have taken part, thank you, John and Leslie, for, um, for making sure it um, goes smoothly. Um, it's, it's good to be back in church, um, to have at least started to celebrate Mass, although, um, you know, with the, the sort of distancing that there is and all the um, precautions we're taking, but we are um, doing it according to the book um, to try and enable people to, to come and feel safe. Um, we remember those who aren't yet um, able to come out um, to, 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 to Mass and to do things, you know, um, that we're all used to doing, but uh, please God, that time will come. Um, the weekday Mass, it's just a case of turning up 10 o'clock um, Monday to Friday, 10 a.m. Mass, um, and no sort of booking for that, just come because we're unlikely to be um, have that many people that we can't fit everyone in. But whereas at the weekend, on Saturday evening and, and Sunday morning Mass, um, it is a case of sending an email into the office to ask to come. Uh, I have to say that um, there is space, you know, there is space at both masses. And um, certainly at the 9.30 this morning, we could have, you know, with social distancing fitted in 10 or, or more people. And I think the same on Saturday evening. So if you know people who'd like to come, don't tell them not to be put off. Um, I've asked people at the mass, uh, a member of our, our parish community, Louise Dove, has had a, a, diagnosis, a diagnosis this week of a terminal illness and uh, Louise wants our prayers. Um, she's known to many of us. She has a young family, husband and young family, and um, we're praying for them. Louise is uh, praying herself that she can come out of the Northern General, go to St. Luke's Hospice and to receive all the wonderful care that they give there and have some time, some quality time, you know, with her, with her family. So I said to her, well, we're praying for a miracle, Louise, of course, um, but we will pray what she asks us to pray, remembering the family uh, in our prayers. And of course, um, God bless Dominic. Uh, he said he will come and celebrate Mass with us here at St. Williams, you know, in the fullness of time when we're able to come and have a celebration. Um, so it will be great to have him uh, uh, come and, um, and celebrate Mass with us. Wish him a happy birthday. I saw on the chat earlier on that it's Paul's birthday as well, Paul Jackson. So it's, um, it's a great day to have a birthday, the um, 19th of July. Happy birthday to, to everyone who celebrates today. Thank you. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Don't forget that you can stay and have a bit of a chat afterwards. Um, so. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.